All right, so that is uh, race number five on the programme, first leg of the TT. If we move on to race number six, which is the first leg of the six-up Bullish Glory. Had some Douglas White in the saddle, uh, runner-up behind Play It last time out. Hey, run, he was runner-up on the all-weather last time out. Garlic here also, runner-up spot for him last time out over course and distance. You have my word, last start winner at Happy Valley over this trip. Strathspey goes up in trip, gets the blinkers on for the first time. Midnight Promise is a course and distance winner. Two starts back, and down to Golden Kid, who goes uh, up in class and down in trip. Gee, uh, Benno Young's done a great job with Have You Have My Word. He's come back a really good horse this prep after a long time off. Royal Chocolate potentially might find the front. Strathspey drew better last start, utilised the gate. He's drawn off the track again, but blinkers go on and he's up in distance. So maybe the spot outside the lead might be what they're looking to hunt. Uh, Midnight Promise, Bullish Glory, You Have My Word, probably just sit back in. Garlic, yeah. Drawn well should hold a prominent spot. Well, it's Glory's got a good barrier draw. That's him up against the rails. Working with Multimax, who's in the race previously. Uh, you can see him going really well there, and he's really relishing these conditions. He sort of stretches out really well. He had a decent workout this morning. Uh, Garlic, yeah, he's been pretty consistent, and uh, his, uh, he's only a little horse, this one. He's, he's sort of up in weight a little bit, but uh, the five pound claim will help him with Jack Wong aboard, and Jack's just getting a feel for him here on the morning. And uh, here is, you have my word, uh, just working with the new horse there, but he's doing it nice and easy as well. And as you mentioned, he's been going very well re recently, and uh, he's a last start winner as well from Barry number two. Yeah, he's come back better than ever this season, yeah. hasn't he? Yeah, Bano Young, Karis Teton will be in the saddle from Barrier 2. We're going to have a look at him in action from Happy Valley. Uh, this is over the 1800 metres and he fairly dashes home and he's, also, he's already won at Chartin, so there doesn't look to be too many negatives with him. No, there's not. Yeah, he won first up. It was a big price on the day when he won, um, well over $80. Um, it sort of really just highlights uh, the way he has returned from that long let up. Smart Baby got a saloon run along the rail and you have my word, had had a nice run in transit, but just powered away the last 20 or 30 showing uh, his well-being and um, his, his fluency, so he's very difficult to oppose yeah, where he's, he's going. Yeah, he's going very well at the moment, and I expect another good run from him. The 1,800 metres looks ideal. Mm. He's well-bred horse, too. He's a half to Lucia Valentina, so uh, he's living up to his breeding at the moment. All right, OK, that's so you have my word. Bullish Glory, the next one we're going to have a look at. Um, he's been down in Class 4 for three starts. This is his fourth start now. Uh, in this grade behind play it last time out, but the winner was very good this day. He was. It was a tactical affair. Um, Player got uh, moving a long way out and ran them off their legs. I like the way Bullish Glory stuck to his guns. He's done that his last two, this time behind play it, the start before, behind Midnight Promise. Biggest danger to, you have my word for me. Um, he, I've got him in for second. He's knocking on the door for a win. Um, he's obviously eligible for the bottom of class three too, but... Uh, sticking with the big weights in class four. Yeah, I've snuck him in as well. So, uh, yeah, it was, as you mentioned, it was a real tactical ride there, wasn't it, from mm. uh, Zach Purden on the winner. But uh, I think you'll run nice here from Barrier 3. OK, Strathspey, the next one we have a look at. He's taken a bit with him on his last two starts, but uh, they go up to the 1800 metres and they put the blinkers on as well. Yeah, I think this is going to suit him. I'm going to give him one last chance. Um, he had every opportunity here. The, the door opened wide for him and he came. The, two, the winner and the runner-up came down the outside and it was good runs from both. He stuck on OK, but I'm just thinking the 1800 might be ideal for him uh, step up and trip, because he was a little bit one-paced here. Prior to that, he did dash home quite nicely. Yeah. I'm not sure what to do with him. I've been with him the last two. He's in the tips. I look at him, he's a three-year-old. He's a big horse. Maybe physically he just needs a bit more time to strengthen. Um, you know, he could potentially be a really nice horse next season. Um, blinkers might then again turn the form completely around and he could end up winning it by two or three. Wasn't sure which way to go. He's in the tips from a safety perspective. All right, he's our favourite as well at this stage, uh, Paul. Mm. And he's uh, on top for you Yeah, I'll stick, I'll stick with him. Um, I made him a best last time and obviously did run that third. Uh, you have my words, been going very well this season. I think he's the main danger. Hay Run is perennial place getter, isn't he? He seems to, doesn't matter what distance, what track or anything, he'll run a placing. So you've got to put him in there somewhere in Bullis Glory for fourth. We're at 7, 6, 2 and 1, but I'll, I'll do the exotics around Stress Bay just in case. Well, it's not the same order this time, but it's the same four numbers, slightly different order. Um, you have my word, Bullish Glory. I think they've got the good grounding over these types of distances. Hay Run's got it as well, but he's just struggling to win one and potentially will give the other two a bit of a head start when they sprint for home. Strathspey's the scopey horse in the race, far from fully furnished. I think he'll be a better horse next season. He'll run well again, um, but maybe a horse, an early horse to follow for next season, whatever he does there. 
Second leg of the TT. We've all got the same four numbers. It's easy this game, Andrew. I'm pumped for tomorrow now. <laughs> you have my word on top for me. That's race number six. First leg of the six up as well. Up next for us, the seventh. We're back on the all-weather.